Hey mom, what's up? Welcome back to The Mom Company, a place where we discuss everything mom likes. I'm Danielle, and today we are doing a thrift flip DIY project. We are going to be, first of all, we are in my, if it's echoey, we are in my formal dining room, which is clearly not a formal dining room at the moment. Um, it actually hasn't been, we actually do not use it. I'm thinking about converting it into something else. But anyways, Today we are going to be doing a DIY that I have been putting off for so long and I kick myself every time I think about it because it's so easy. Literally just painting, mixing a little bit and letting it dry and then decorating. Like so easy. So anybody, I promise anybody could do this DIY. Um, I will list everything that you will need down below where I got it, links if you need links. Um, I'm gonna look out, don't worry. Before we get into the video, let's get into the business. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure if you are not already, make sure you follow me on my other socials. On Instagram and Facebook, I am underscore the mom company. You will find the shorts of everything that we do there. And then if you need like a step-by-step -step process, you stay here. Um, if you try any of the DIY flips that I have done, I think I've done a total of two so far. I'll link them down below. Let me know in the comments that it's working for you, number one, that you tried, and two, what other DIY flips are you trying to see from me? Because I like DIYing. It's one of my pastimes. It relaxes me. It's just my favorite thing, one of my favorite things to do. So if you let me know what you'd like to see, I will do my best to do that. Second, that's it. Let's get into the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. We are starting with this vase that I found at the thrift store. I paid $1.99, child, and it was the best find ever. I say that about all my finds, but whatever. It looks like it was someone's secondhand thrift find or thrift flip. They DIY'd it themselves and then thrifted it. But um, I'm also going to go over it with this black acrylic paint. And I don't need to add the baking powder to the paint this time because the vase is already textured. It already has the perfect amount of texture. So really, I'm just painting and I'm done. Now, because this vase is so textured, I'm having to use the sponge applicator to push the paint into the vase. As you can see, I'm pushing and then swiping um, so that I get every single crevice. And then right now I'm painting inside of the neck. Girl, if you want your thrift flip to look like you purchased it at the store, get inside of the neck of that vase. okay we're moving on i found this bomb looking candle holder at the thrift store it was 2.99 and i'm going to paint it it already has like hammer texture on it so all i need to do is add my baking powder to my paint to get the nice like ceramic texture that i'm going for and one and done this is acrylic paint in the color linen. It's a nice cream tan color. And I'm going to add some baking powder to it. I'm going to slowly increase the amount of baking powder that I add to it because I wanna make sure that I get the perfect amount of texture. Um, so in between adding, I will be stirring with the butt of the fork. And yeah, you'll see it here. Because we are painting on a smooth surface, I'm going to opt to use a paintbrush. This was from the Dollar Tree, one dollar girl. And I'll be painting in a circular motion. So side to side around the circumference of the candle holder, I will not be painting up and down. The reason why is because I want it to look like it was made on a ceramic, like one of those vase wheels. I don't know what they're called, but I want it to have that kind of texture. Also, please take note of the texture of the paint after we have added all the baking powder. It's very fluffy and airy.
At this point, just turn on your music, get you a glass of wine, and vibe out. Okay, we have let the first layer dry and I'm going in with a second coat um, because I can still see a tad bit of the metal shining through. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing with a nice second coat and the texture is about to be out of this world. Okay, here's the finished product. This is by far, I think this is one of my favorite DIY flips or thrift flips. It was so easy, so relaxing, and I mean, it came out good. Let me know if you try it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.